Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here at UFC Rotterdam standing alongside Gunnar Nelson and Gunnar I know you're a man who's big into jiu-jitsu it's been a huge part of your career but in your last fight you come up against someone who maybe was just that bit better on the ground in certain situations a big thing about jiu-jitsu is that people are able to reflect on their own ability after they've rolled with someone going against someone as good as that what did you take from it? You know, uh, it was it was mainly his his energy and he's kind of he's he's heavy on top and he he's kind of he's relentless and uh, he's very technical. So dealing with that kind of energy is is something to learn from this fight. You know, although in the fight I learned how to survive and I did. You know. So. Do you think when you're talking about the energy on a different day, the energy would have been in your favor? Your techniques would have worked better. It was just that he had the momentum on the day. Yeah, I, de I definitely did not feel myself in this fight um, or coming in. Uh, but, you know, that's something a fighter and, and an athlete has to deal with. You know, there's always some reason, whatever it is, you know, um, this is just a part of the game. Uh, um, we live and learn, you know. Looking at you now, it's a bit of a throwback to a couple of years ago. Gone is the head that looks like he's just crawled out of bed, gunning out some of the shaved head, who used to put on devastating performances in Ireland and the UK and Europe, finishing people. Is this a, maybe a sign of what is going to come again this weekend? A return to what made you as good and as touted as people had hoped for? The shaved head? Yeah. I think it's just down to that, to be honest. Yeah, well, if it is that to you, then that's great. You know. What about you? Is there any preference? Yeah, I like the shaved head in, in the summer especially, you know, and, and here it's the weather is very nice, so, and I had, I was, I was growing almost a mane, so it's, it was time to shave it, you know. When we're just looking at this fight, people are saying maybe the blueprint is already there to beat Gunnar Nelson, Damian Maia has shown it, Rick Story has shown it, what have you changed to make sure that people can never say there is a blueprint to beating Gunnar Nelson again? We're, you're always changing and learning from your mistakes, so uh, I don't think I don't believe in this kind of stuff. You know, I think you learn you learn from your mistakes, and, and a lot of times it's a little bit of an energy thing how you, how you put your energy out there and, and how you uh, how you reserve your energy or keep your energy. Uh, so yeah, they can think whatever they they want, but uh, I'll just carry on on my path. And two quick things. Um, we've seen in your earlier UFC fights your striking has been very in and out. You're using your karate-based background. You're not afraid to use it. Do you think maybe this is going to prove the fight where we can go back to those roots, a guy who's going to bring it forward in a striking capacity that's going to allow you to counter-strike? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, he, uh, I presume he'll be looking to stay on the feet and, and uh, throw hands and, and kicks. So the opportunity would definitely be there to, to move in and out and counter strike you know to play that kind of game um, we'll see we'll see on Sunday and then finally if you don't mind me saying there's something different about you since the last loss in the interviews that you've done just the way you're conducting yourself it seems like there's a I don't want to say a bit of agitation in you but you always seem to be the guy who's so so cool and so laid back and now it just seems like there's a bit of a sharper edge is there anything behind that or is it just we're looking too much into it uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, maybe you're looking into it. I don't know, but I feel I feel similar. You know, I, I, of course you 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 learn from your experiences. You know, when you have a loss, it's not you're not what you were hoping for. But you you uh, it could be the greatest thing that happened to you. You know, so maybe this Saturday is the greatest thing to happen to Gunnar Nelson. <laughs> maybe hopefully Sunday. Uh, Sunday, yeah, European, sorry about that. Thank you very much. See you soon.